started our trip off with a nice long road trip. 7.15 and we're in Oklahoma. We're on our way to Big Cedar Lodge in Ramsey, Missouri. Big Cedar Lodge is an awesome resort tucked away just outside of Branson, Missouri. We ended up stopping at a Chili's in Tulsa, Oklahoma to refuel. How's the road trip going so far today? <laughs> Sophia was much happier after she had some food in her belly. Arriving at our resort was quite an experience going over this waterfall to get to our hotel room. Our room was a two bedroom with a main room, a second room, which is where Sophia slept mostly. We had a bathroom with a shower and then the deck overlooking a lake, which was an awesome view, beautiful place to stay. Felt like we were out in nature. One of Tim's favorite parts of the resort was this all-you-can-play putt-putt golf, which we played multiple times. Right next to the mini golf was a little park they could play in. There were several other kids there as well. It did rain a decent amount when we were there. And inside the main lodge, there is an awesome sitting area where there's toys for kids fireplace that was roaring the whole time so this is the main lobby it's a great place to come gather there's a nice warm fireplace beautiful view of the lake out here fun games for kids toy table over there and a beautiful atrium all kinds of stuff one of the main attractions at the resort was something called fun mountain it had this awesome area where there's a slide, an arcade, several different restaurants. There's a high ropes course. This was us eating in the bar. Sophia really liked the food, obviously. This was Tim's first time bowling. It was an awesome theme with <laughs> Under the Sea. We eventually figured out this awesome kids contraption to actually help you get the ball all the way down. The arcade was definitely one of Tim's favorite spots. Him and I went there a few times, especially when Melody and Sophia came to take the nap. This brought me back to my old childhood days in the arcade. Tim got to enjoy some of his treats with his new age tickets, which now they don't have tickets anymore. They have a card, kind of like a credit card, where Where'd it calculates it? how many tickets you would have had for your prizes. Later on, we got ready to go to dinner at a place called the Buzzard Bar. We are at the Buzzard Bar. We've had dinner, and now we're waiting for our, what is it, cherry pudding? Cherry vanilla bread pudding. Cherry vanilla bread pudding. Are you ready for your cherry vanilla bread pudding? Yeah! I hope there's gonna be cherry on top. This was a great spot for dinner, fairly casual, and it was right next door to our hotel room, which made it awesome. We just had our breakfast at Truman's, which is an awesome little coffee shop breakfast spot with good coffee shop style food and excellent coffee. And we're gonna get ready to go do our tour of a cave and nature area and the museum, the nature museum. This is top of the rock. It's really pretty overlooking 
golf course and the lake and there's an awesome restaurant up here and that's where the museum is that we're gonna go to we're in the ancient Ozarks Natural History Museum there's all kinds of ancient artwork Native American artwork and uh, natural history type uh, Ozark animals and things. We moved fairly quickly through the museum because of the kid's attention span, but we moved on to our golf cart tour. Are we we are currently on a golf cart tour of the Ozarks. <laughs> the tour was about two or three miles along this path that weaved up and down the mountains with several different waterfalls, amazing views. About halfway through, you actually get to go into a cave. up to this bar and order food and drinks in the cave. several hundred feet above the waterfalls below. There were different spots along the route where you could get out, play in the waterfalls, take pictures. and I finished off the afternoon playing another round of mini golf while Sophia took her nap before we all went out to dinner up at Top of the Rock at a Ooh. restaurant called Osage. This restaurant has a much more formal feeling. The food is a little bit more expensive, but it was amazing. The views were incredible. We were there for sunset and it overlooks the big lake. This was the perfect way to finish off our trip on the last night. We ordered about three or four desserts because we couldn't decide what we wanted. <laughs> 